If you're not doing these four things inside of DaVinci Resolve, then quite honestly, you are wasting a ton of time lagging through your projects, and I don't care who you are, that is just frustrating. So my name is Billy Ripka, and I'm here to save you time and make your videos better. Let's get into it. So first on our list, we have render in place. You guys need to use this. This is so important. Now, a lot of people don't actually know this, but you can render in place titles, transitions, effects, not just footage. How you render in place a title is gonna be a little bit different than how you would render in place an effect or a transition. And I'll show you what I actually mean. So on the timeline, I have one of our seamless transitions right here. And if I play through it without a cache at all, it stutters through it a little bit. If I go on this transition right here, I right click, I don't have an option to render it in place. So what I'll do instead is move to the end of the transition like this, make a cut one frame before and after the transition. Then you highlight it, you right click and go to new compound clip. So now if I right click on it, I'll have the option to render in place right here. Under codec, change it to DNX HR and then under type, go to DNX HR LB, then hit render in place. This is gonna be specifically for things that take up the whole screen, so like a transition. Now, if you're using a title or something that doesn't take up the full screen, what you're gonna do is right click on the title and go to render in place. And instead of using this codec right here, we're gonna actually switch to the HQ version and then hit render. Now HQ is gonna render out our title, but also preserve the transparency. So we don't have to do any grouping or stuff like that. As long as you're using DNX HR HQ, that's gonna work fine. So now once it's done, you can still see we have our animation right here and it plays back in real time and doesn't slow down our system. Guys, we're making this simple for our machine because why would we struggle through this? I don't know. Just a little side note here, we got some banger fusion videos coming out really soon. So if you're not yet, get subscribed, hit the bell notification. You are not gonna want to miss this. So now onto our second speed hack. We are gonna be inside of fusion. And if you haven't noticed, it's because fusion is normally the reason things are slow. I have a particle simulation going on and my computer hates it. It genuinely hates it. We can fix that though, by using a node called the saver. And it literally will save not only just this, but it's gonna save you time. A lot like our seamless transition packs at brmediapro.com. So if I just bring up my select tools menu and type in saver, I can add it in right after my particle simulation. And I'm just gonna break the connection to the merge node right there. In the inspector tab, you can just click browse and then just create a new folder where you want to store all of these files. So now I'm gonna go up to fusion and select render all savers. And it's gonna just render out my whole particle simulation to an EXR file. EXR files are like a really fancy PNG, but better. Now, once we've rendered that out, we have to bring it back into Fusion. So we can add in a loader node. So once I add the loader node in, it's gonna pop up. So I'll go to the folder where I rendered out the EXR files and select the first one right here, then hit open. Now I can take the output of my loader node and bring it to the merge node right here and just add it back in. Now we have everything rendered out and brought back in with the loader node. And now we can just keep on moving with my fusion composition and add in, you know, text after this if I want to. So the saver node is really gonna help you just kill any stuttering and lagging that you have because of these heavy effects. Ooh, baby, these are good ones. Woo! Now moving on to our third speed hack, we have this kind of like a hidden menu right here. Now, some of you might already know about this, but some of you might not, and it is worth knowing about. So inside of my playground, AKA Fusion, I'm gonna go up here to this play bar and I'm gonna right click next to it. And then you have these options and high quality is checked, motion blur is checked, and you have these other proxy options right here. So what we can do is I can actually turn off high quality. I can turn off motion blur, and I can turn on auto proxy. Now, by turning off high quality and motion blur, it doesn't do that when you go ahead and render everything out, right? This is just so when you're actually compositing all of this, you can see what you're doing. It's not gonna be processing all of that information. It's gonna really make everything so much faster to do. Otherwise, you're just wasting valuable time, guys. Auto proxy is gonna do exactly that. It is going to create a proxy, 
automatically if it needs it. Please, for the love of everything, use these. Now moving on to our fourth and final speed hack is something that you've probably never heard of before. It is called Auto DoD. And this is like a game changer if you do stuff inside of Fusion. So what this does is automatically recognize whatever element you have inside of the frame and then just turns off all of the other pixels around it. So normally, if you have a title up, DaVinci Resolve will actually render out all of the transparent data. This node will automatically kill that. So inside of Fusion, I'm gonna hit these three dots right here at the top and I'll go down to Region and then Show DoD. Doesn't stand for Department of Defense, just saying. So what this does is it puts a dotted border around what's actually being processed in our frame. So if I go to the Dissolve 2 node right here, you can see that it's processing everything because we don't have an auto domain in there. If I add in one after the Dissolve 2 node and then put it in my viewer, you can see that the border actually changes to now it's rendering just this area. Now one of these isn't enough though because there's still a lot of processing going on between here and here. What I'm gonna do is put nodes like the merge node or the transform node in my viewer and see if it resizes back to this full size. So since right here with the merge two, it actually did that, I'm gonna just drop an auto domain here and now view it and you can see that it goes down to this really small area. And I'm gonna do it to the other side because I also know it does that. So now we have two auto domains right here. If I view this merge three, you can see that it's not rendering anything but what needs to be rendered. So I can move forward and keep putting different things in my viewer. Obviously right here with our dissolve, it brought it back to the full scale. However, we have an auto domain right there. So no lie, just this alone is gonna help you significantly speed up your DaVinci Resolve editing process and your fusion. So if you want more fusion tricks just like this, click on the video right here. Till the next one, peace.